Hey y'all, welcome to Quarantine Cuisine today. And um, first off, I wanna say, I hope all of you are well out there. Um, here, I'm in isolation. Damn, it's lonely. And <laughs> I'm getting creative. I'm cleaning my pantry out, my drawers. I'm trying to stay busy. And um, this helps so much connecting to all of you guys. And before I start with the dish that I'm doing tonight, I really wanna just do shout outs to uh, my family, my brother and sister-in-law and Orlando and their kids and our brother and sister-in-law, Justin and Nikki and uh, their kids in New York, uh, my brother and their fa his family in Mississippi, our parents in Miami, um, as well as grandma and uh, Uncle William and Uncle Marty and their family in Dallas, Texas, and so many and all of you out there, all the friends that uh, we're staying in touch with. It helps so much to connect, um, and uh, especially during isolation and quarantine. But I am gonna cook something pretty delicious tonight. So what I found was I kind of scrounged up a lot of few things here. Uh, one being I had some white rice that I had cooked um, ahead of time. I had leftover, I had some edamame in the freezer, I had some peppers from yesterday if you guys tuned in. Uh, to the protein bowl yesterday. I had some red bell pepper left over, some carrots. I have a little nub of ginger here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make, if you guys can see this, I'm gonna make a stir fried rice, shrimp stir fried rice here. And I'm just got these, you know, I've got it started. I like using the amino liquids, Bragg's amino liquids. It's a soy, it's a protein seasoning from, it's all purpose seasoning from soy protein and it's pretty delicious. Um, so I spray a little bit of that on there as well, just to mix that in. It tastes a lot like soy sauce, um, but it's really, really good for you. It has a lot of good nutrients in it. So I'm gonna toss that. I've got it on medium high. And then what you do is, once I get this ready to go, I'm gonna kind of scoot it to the side because I'm gonna crack my egg in. I'm gonna crack my egg right into the pan to scramble it a little bit, which is classic for, soy, for uh, fried rice. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I've just got a few shrimp that I found too. I found a little bag of shrimp in the freezer and I'm telling you, the freezer is coming in really handy, uh, for, um, going through the coronavirus and being isolated, being in quarantine, being able to use your freezer to store things. And I've pulled out all kinds of things that I needed to use up and that I found in the freezer. And it's just a, it's a lifesaver right now. So I'm just going to add my little shrimp in here. Got those saute. There we go, gonna let those saute. And I'll tell you, you know, you guys who know me so well, you know that I'm used to having my wife here. I'm in her pajama top because I miss her so much and we can't be together right now. And we're dividing, conquering. Um, and so right now that we're isolated, I just, I wanted to put something on that was just made me feel close to her. So I have her pajama top on. And she's usually here, um, you, you know, she's the camera, she's behind the camera and she's usually here um, helping me and I'm solo, I'm doing all of this. So I'm a little bit nervous, I have to admit, I'm gonna be vulnerable here. I'm a little nervous um, doing Instagram live by myself, but I'm gonna do it. I'm going live tomorrow at five o'clock. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna jump in and do it. And tonight I'm also gonna be live on my series called Triple C, which is Cats Couch Commentary, and I'm gonna be watching Tournament of Champions on Food Network, and I'm gonna give you blow-by-blow -blow opinion uh, from my couch, my comfortable couch under a blanket about what's going on during the show. So join me, I will be live, and, um, and you ask me questions, tips, any advice you need in the kitchen right now. Again, I kind of use this as my hotline to all of you, and it's, it's beneficial to me as I hope it is for you. And um, it's just been really, really great. While I don't have my kids, which is the most heartbreaking thing, is I don't have my kids right now and I don't have my wife right now. So um, it's really helpful to be able to spend time with all of you each night um, in any way that we can. Um, so tomorrow I'm going live. I'm gonna make the big leap. I'm gonna do it by myself. I'm gonna do it solo. I'm going live. I'm gonna answer your questions. Um, and I'm gonna cook at the same time, and I'm gonna hold the camera. I'm gonna do it all. I'm gonna just be the whole crew and production <laughs> right here in my kitchen for Quarantine Cuisine. So, 
Now I've got these shrimp close to being ready. Doesn't take long for these little frozen shrimp and they're not very big. So I'm gonna turn those off. Those are done. You can kind of tell they, they turn nice and pink. They're, they're tender, I can, they're firm. And so I'm gonna leave those in the pan for a minute. I'm going to now um, crack my egg and put that, turn the heat up. So you can see I turned the heat up to high. I'm gonna crack my egg in there. I'm gonna put you here so you guys can all see what we're doing. There we go. Still here. And I'm gonna crack my egg and then I'll show you what I'm doing. So I cracked a whole egg in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scramble it really fast. I'm gonna scramble it. Just gonna get it all nice and scrambled in there. And then, oh, that's so good. And what I don't use tonight, cause I probably can't eat all of this. I don't know, maybe I can. You know, it's funny. I wanna eat more when I'm in isolation for some reason. But I'm gonna scramble this. And if I do have any leftover, which I might, I'm gonna put some eggs in it, even more. I'm gonna make it an omelet tomorrow because I think it'll be delicious. So this is your protein in here along with the shrimp. And you could really do um, a vegan option and not do the egg in it and just have it, the fried rice with veggies. Just add anything you can find in your fridge. This is a great type of dish. I love doing fried rice for the kids because that's a time for me to clean out my my refrigerator and I can chop up any vegetables I have in there and just add it right in. But look at this, this is just so delicious. I love this. Now I'm gonna turn my heat down because the rice is starting to pop as you can see, cause it's nice and cooked. And I'm getting a little bit crisp cause I do like a little crispy rice on it as well. I like when the rice is a little crisper and then this is just so good. Oh. And I was able to find a little nub of ginger in there, which I'm, you know, I'm, this is like a nugget of gold right now for me because I'm not going to the grocery store. I'm not leaving the house. So I'm going to use this sparingly because I love ginger and almost everything. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, now I'm going to plate my fried rice right in there. I'm a nice little helping of fried rice into the bowl. I've got my heat turned off on all stoves. And then I just start plating it. And this is just, again, anything can be put into fried rice. That's the beauty of, it's like a stir fry. Anything can be put in. There's no rules. There's no, you know, limits, whatever you want to throw in there to use it up. And right now, this is the time to stretch. As we know, we're all um, having a hard time financially. This is the time to stretch your meals, to use what you have on hand, um, and really make it stretch for the family whatever you can make and be creative. And this is the beautiful time of you know, being able to get creative with it. So I've got my, I've got that there. I've got my rice in the bowl. You can see here. Now I'm gonna take a spoon here with some of the shrimp. I'm gonna add the shrimp right on top. And you could toss them right in too. I'm gonna do it this way. I'm just kind of trying something, you know, normally I would just toss it all in, but that looks kind of delicious actually. I kind of like it like that too. Um, however you want to do it, toss it in, put it on top. Again, it's about getting creative right now. We need to use all the resources we have. And again, just having fun in the kitchen with your family, with your, you know, with FaceTiming your friends, with tuning in at 5 PM to quarantine kitchen every night, whatever it is that can help us all just get through this. Now I'm going to just put some ginger, again, sparingly, but I am gonna, it add, you don't need a lot. I mean, a little goes a long way with ginger, which I love, and I love it in everything. I love it in drinks and smoothies, on any kind of food, and so just tap that a little bit to get it all off. There we go, and use up all of it, because we don't want to waste anything. And, voila, I love this. A nice fried rice. You can have, actually do another little spray on there, which I like. I like a little extra spray of the aminos, and there you have it. That's gonna be my dinner tonight. And I hope you have a nice dinner too. Thank you all again, you know, for just being a part of Quarantine Cuisine and coming in and enjoying this. And again, we're going live tomorrow night. I'm going live tomorrow night, and hopefully my wife can join. Um, she'll join into the conversation, and we're just gonna have lots of fun. Again, Tune in at 10 p.m. tonight. I'm gonna, for Triple C, I'm gonna be giving you cats couch commentary for Tournament of Champions, and we hope to do that once a week. It's air at 10 p.m. Um, on Wednesday nights, and hey, you guys hang in there out there. Stay safe, stay in, 
Give the loved ones you are, if you're lucky enough to be with your kids and your family right now, give them giant hugs and tell them how much you love them. Because I, you know, I, I just, I wish I could do that right now with my kids and my wife. And, um, and I, I hope that all of you can and you have someone with you. And if you don't, you have me. I'm here too. I'm, I'm solo as well right now. Um, only in the house. I, I have my family that I keep reaching out to and connecting with. And again, just sharing um, as much love as you can and being kind out there to others um, whenever you can. I think that's so important for us to amplify each other and lift each other up and be as supportive as possible. Again, thank you all for everybody who's writing in with all of their amazing, you know, um, notes and and all the love they're giving and being so kind and so sweet and so generous with themselves and their and and again being vulnerable as well and being emotional and um, that's what it's all about. This isn't a time for us to all try to be heroes. It's really just a time to be, you know, you know, heroes to yourself first. Keep yourself healthy so that you can keep everybody else healthy. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow live, 5 p.m. for Quarantine Kitchen. And join me live tonight at 10 p.m. for Tournament of Champions on Food Network. Take care.